Hi, welcome to Energy Insights. Today I'm going to talk to you about LNG plant commission process. In some ways, the commission process may be seen as a quality assurance procedure that allows the construction project team to produce a building that is fully operational and meets all the expectations. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about eight stages of an LNG project and the process that we need to do to carry out uh, that are carried out in each stage. Stage one is the planning and preparation. In this, in this stage, we assemble the commissioning team. We examine lessons learned and experiences gained from similar building projects. And we clearly define the performance outcomes expected by the client and the end user. On stage two, which is the design, uh, we review the performance results with the client ensure that the commissioning process activities have been clearly established and that we have ensured that the performance outcomes reflect any mod modifications to the system or project design. On stage three, which is the pre-construction, we ensure that the contractors understand the performance requirements and verify that the trade contractors have the capability to satisfy the requirements of the commissioning process. On stage four, the post-construction, we develop a thorough commissioning program and carry out the pre-commissioning work, which includes checking the installation's work and running static tests, verified and record that the desired performance objectives have been met and ensure that process on the creation of original manuals is made on a consistent basis. On stage five, which is the commissioning of engineering services, we perform the initialization of systems and ensure that they are operational. We verify that the necessary performance and outcomes objectives have been met or exceeded. We review the performance testing of the building equipment and engineering services that should be carried out. Make that the specific performance levels have been met and record this in writing, which are the procedures of the plant. Include members of the facilities manage, management team in the commissioning process and gather all the commissioning checklists and test papers in one place. Stage six, preparation for handover. Examine the quality of the documentation evident gathered throughout the commissioning process activities. Maintain completeness and accuracy of all necessary statutory paperwork. Provide all users and operators with instructions and guidance. Create and distribute user's manuals for the building. Examine the needs of the customer and respond, respond to all and any discrepancies. Stage seven, initial occupation. Introduce the user to the equipment and premises and demonstrate how it works. Assist the facilities management team with, with the earliest phases of the building operation. Refresh commissioning records in line with the after approval of any revisions. Update the operations and maintenance manuals to reflect any modifications that have been authorized. Stage 8. Post-occupancy care or continuous improvement. Uh, create a seasonal commissioning, fine-tuning of the building and its engineer services, building performance evidence and collect and review those performance evidence, commissioning records and operation and maintenance manuals are updated in accordance with seasonal commissioning and fine tuning work. And for the last, lessons learned and produced by comparing building performance to design intent and client stakeholder expectations and industry benchmarks. In this stage, you will find that uh, continuous improvement is very important for the plant and well basically those are the eight stages of commissioning an LNG plant we appreciate uh, you for listening and viewing this video uh, please give us a thumbs up thank you and have an excellent day